，这真的就是全世界最中国的美国人。我怎么给大家做着快乐王版？所以今天我们要分析一个比较特殊的人，叫杨和平，是一个在中国出生长大的美国人。他妈妈是曼哈顿计划的核物理学家，然后就是跑到了中国生了个孩子，然后这个人就是在陕西，在西安出生长大的。人家就是说这个，哎呀，外国人长得真丑。He's super Chinese, but let's take a look at his English. As an American, how does he sound? Let's take a look. 那今天我们要分析的这几个点呢，就是我们在美式翻译学院就会讲到的知识点。所以，如果你想跟我学英语的话，一定要等到视频的最后，我就会给你讲讲我们这些课程都会学到什么东西。But let's get right into it. <laughs> yeah, my father is very humorous. Yeah,、uh, humorous. Of... 非常中式啊，一一开头就非常中式 ，very. Humorous, but very funny. And uh, um, so he keep on writing letters to my mom. Says he come to China, come on, come China's China is going through a great upheaval. And upheaval. if you come in late, you're gonna miss the bus. So this is kind of interesting, just because. 一听他说话呢，他就是有点中式的这个发音部位，就是叫做 oral posture， 就是我们说英文的时候发音，就是在比较靠后的位置。It's just kind of down here a little bit more in the throat. 但是呢，我们说中文。就是比较靠前的，他就是在用中文的发音方式来说英文，所以就是这个音色会比较特殊。But it sounds perfect. So my father read the Red Star over China. Red Star over China. 所以感觉就是这经常就会发生，很多人都是如果要连起来，就会把这些小音节去掉。Red Star over China. Well,、uh, without the Chinese Revolution, you won't see me today. I mean, the... today. My mother is a, a nuclear mother. physicist. Uh, participate in Manhattan Project. Physicist project. 就是这个音调，我觉得其实是我们在英文可能就会说 physicist project。所以到句子的最后，我们就会往下降。哎，这个其实就是根本不会影响理解的吧？因为它总体的这个语音语调完全没啥问题。然后有一些小细节，就是单词的发音，听他说 today 的时候 ，You won't see me today. Today. 我们作为美国人呢，其实还是会比较倾向于说 today。Today, my name is Fred Angst.、Um, I was born and raised in China.、Uh, born in Beijing, in fact,、um, but I was not raised in Beijing. Beijing. I was raised in、Beijing. the ancient capital city of Xi'an. I spent half my life in China, half my life in the U.S. He's 100% fluent in English. He has English. 从这个用词上什么的，感觉基本上就没啥问题。他应该也是在美国生活过，但是他。感觉心里就是个中国人，所以我觉得还挺有意思的。呃、uh, ，People in the U.S. saying people in the U.S. in the U.S. 其实很多人可能就会经常漏掉我们重要的词 U.S. 说的清楚 ，in the in the in the in 这说的很清。所、so, 以 people in the U.S. I'm being brainwashed, I'm being duped, and I'm I'm self-doubting, and I just want to make sure what 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 is really going on. So I went, decided to go to college and trying to learn economics and understand the Chinese socialist economics. And 其实我觉得就可能我们还是会说 economics, economics. 这区别真的很小。而 economics 它就是有点拉长了一点点。But it essentially sounds perfect. But that didn't really help either.、Uh, what really helped is、uh, what we saw in the 90s, what happened in China, and then. Uh, U.S. is still an imperialist country. The U.S. 我们这肯定是要加一个 the. The U.S. is still an imperialist country. It took me many years. Finally, I crawl myself back to the pits and、um, find my、um, my bearings. Eventually. <laughs> 啊，用词什么的，就是 found my bearings， 他就找到了自己的一些方向。Or、uh, he kind of like got comfortable in the situation. So these words, ah, 什么的，这些俗语啊，俚语，这些他掌握的完全没有什么问题。But it's just weird. His tone is still very Western. Can you Chinese in spite of your look? What do you think? I'm neither, <laughs> or both. <laughs> both. During the war time,、uh, she was、uh, invited to. Be part of the Manhattan Project. 他这边我们就可以听一下他怎么说这个 Manhattan Project. Project. Manhattan Project. 我们嘴唇就应该就比较圆一点点，就不要不是那么开的 Project. 然后记得，如果你想跟我学英语的话，一定要订阅，按下那个小铃铛，这样我一发视频就会收到通知。About two weeks later, very soon, they drop two bombs in Japan. Japan. So, 我这这些小细节真的就是它的音色还是有一点点中式的感觉。But his intonation is perfect. 
它的重音、它的轻音，这些我们最主要的细节就是不是我们的辅音啊、远音啊这些国际音标能不能发的标准。虽然呢，我们不要把它们发成别的音，但如果你的语音语调就是轻重读。这些抑扬顿挫的小细节发的很好，你的口音怎么样？真的无所谓啊。He just sounds perfect, but he's still Chinese in my head. She didn't expect they would use that bomb on human. 这也是一个比较常见的语法错误，就是 humans 应该是复数，因为泛指所有人类，对吧 ？I was very angry, and they、uh, organized a lot of nuclear physicists for a campaign to. Uh, make sure the nuclear nuclear bombs are in the hands of civilian control instead of military control. Yeah, yeah. and、um, so after they lobbied、v、and the laws. This is actually many Chinese people often make a mistake. They, they, we are going to gently bite the nail. Ah, they, not they. After they 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 She thought everything is fine, so she went back to her study. By chance, back to her studies. 记得这个复数还是要注意。She find out her scholarship came from the Navy, U.S. Navy, well,、uh, and that was just totally distraught her. It left her distraught or made her very distraught. 这个应该是让一个人怎么怎么样。Anything, any. Discoveries, any advancements, any new knowledge that she will help to learn about nuclear physics will be part of the will be used by U.S. to build better bomb. So this ah 的音对于很多中国人来说还是有一点点难度。他这边感觉是一半的时间发的完全没问题，但是一半的时间把哦发成啊了，所以是 knowledge 发成了 knowledge。Knowledge. Then, actually, some Chinese pronunciation will say this. So it's not a huge deal. And also, because there is no other similar long words. But these little details are still to be noticed. That was 1948.、Uh, by then, my father has already、uh, went had, to China. When we talk about past stories, we say that at that time, he was doing something. He was doing something. He was doing something. My father has already. Uh, went to China. We say, in the past, 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 You know, my mom is working in the nuclear field, where it's all men. I mean,、uh, yeah. there's no lack of candidates. 有时候感觉他说对词了，但是发的没那么饱满。所以 where it was all men, she was in the nuclear field. My mom is working in the nuclear field, where it's all men. He just he doesn't speak that clearly for the unstressed sounds. 那些非重读的音节有时候说的比较过于轻吧，可以这么说。So with this. This is the background. So when my mother find out that her scholarship come from the Navy, 我觉得比较有意思的就是它的用词什么的几乎没有问题，它的语音语调也特别强。It essentially sounds like a native speaker. 就是可能这个调值会有一点点奇怪，有时候。但是呢，比较明显的一个小问题就是它的时态，经常讲过去发生的事情的时候，就会把它们说成。And my father has crush on her. When my mother find out, so he says things like when my mother find out, or 不是 found out. 这些细节还是挺重要的。记得我们讲过去发生的事情的时候，一定是要用过去时。Because it's really hard to get in. Get in. So yeah, you know his 辅音、元音的连读，这些也都做得非常好。就是 get in， 还加了个闪音啊。这些也是我们在课程就会去讲的这些知识点。And the pressure is pretty great, and so well, that's what get married.、Uh, so that's how they get married in the spring of forty-nine.、Uh, spring of forty-nine.、Uh, so this is actually talking about this. Ah, this filler word. Because he's thinking, maybe it's of, ah, that some Chinese people will make a little mistake. Is to add an accent. I think this is here to think about adding an ah. Well, they have a lot in common. As it turns out, that、uh, love for life, love for being virtuous, 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 love for being virtuous. Being very、uh, close to ordinary people, and in China they have something in common because they both throw themselves into the, the
the the biggest、um, project is building a new China. If we look at the perspective of the teacher, I think we can see that the Chinese book is being read and reread when it will be read again. It is more like the cha 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 Other animals, and my mother's always into machine designs and farm equipment. I think more interesting is that his use of words, these are mostly the animal species. He said animal husbandry, or my mother was into something. These are the most common words that you find in the dictionary. Into something. These are the words that make us sound really good when we're speaking English. It's just his grammar is kind of bad. Okay, so this is actually quite interesting. His pronunciation is clearly a bit Chinese. 的感觉就是，我觉得我就会给他四分。I mean, he he sounds very Chinese from the position, 他的发音部位这个 oral posture， 某些小细节就是这些 t 有点送气，有点过多，然后发音部位还是偏向中国的。然后他舌位这些小细节呢，基本上就是。很偏向中文的发音位置，它语法除了这个时态的问题，虽然时态的问题特别严重，别的都还好，所以我还是想给它四分。但是它的语音语调，我总是说嘛，如果这些语音语调掌握的这么好 ，it doesn't really matter how everything else sounds， 因为就会听着特别地道。So you know he sounds really good. I'm I'm very impressed. 我真觉得任何人都可以学到这个水平。然后如果你刚才学到东西了，记得点个赞。那如果你想跟我学习的话，我们现在有一个听力课，一个美式发音学院，就可以让你的口语、你的听力等发音都有非常明显的提高。你可以到我们的 Teachable 账号报名参加。But guys, who do you think is the best, most Chinese Westerner in China? 你觉得谁是最中国的外国人？留言跟我说一下，然后我们就下次再见。